Let me show you a few new things that you can do with user interface controls for FireMonkey in XE3 for Windows and for the new Metropolis UI support. First, we'll create a new FireMonkey project. We'll choose an HD FireMonkey application. Let's put an edit box down. We have some new embedded glyphs support with edit boxes in FireMonkey 2. We can right mouse click on the edit box and bring up the items editor or just add an item. And there are several choices. For example, we, we can put a clear edit glyph and we can also add a password edit button. And if we want to use password in the set it box, we just go and set the password to true. And then we run the application. As we start typing, it won't show the characters. And we can also use this clear button to clear the input. There are other choices. We can right mouse click and put a search edit button down with the little magnifying glass. The ellipses, which means maybe bring up other choices. And just the edit button itself, which is there saying, let's edit. You can right mouse click and bring up the items editor and manipulate and move around the icons. So for example, we can delete the clear edit and the ellipsis edit and the search edit and get back to where we were. For example, with just a password and a clear edit button. You can also style all the user interface controls and we can see the styles in the object inspector. So we go to the style lookup property, pull down, and we can see the different choices that are available for styling an edit box. If we put a button down, we can go down in the object inspector and look at style lookup and see different kinds of buttons, speed button style, a spinning button style, cleared button style, and of course, just the plain button style. These also look great when we're using the Metropolis UI if you want the Windows 8 style. So for example, we can add a, a, an animation indicator and that's that spinning wheel that happens when we're, and we can set it uh, enabled to true so that it starts spinning. And there it is animating. Well, let's right mouse click and convert this to Metropolis UI. And now we've got the other button. We've still got styling on the edit box of the password and the clear. And we can select the button and go to style lookup and now see all the different styles that are available. So an apply button, for example, uh, back button, cancel button and so on. Also our animation now has changed. So let's run this application. And now we've got this animated indeterminate process ring that you see in Windows 8 with these dots spinning around and speeding up and slowing down. And again, we still have the password support and the clear button. Also note in FireMonkey 2 that the form can be styled. And we have a form here, we select our form and it has the style lookup background style. Right mouse click and edit a custom style and see the background style. You can change that in the style editor to have any style. And notice that there's a property for alignment which says alignment contents, which means all the content of the form. In the case of Metropolis UI or the Windows 8 style, it gives us a complete blank style. And of course we can go and load a different style so for example, load up the Metropolis blue style and apply it. And now we have the blue background style and the buttons uh, are styled. We can change again the buttons to something else that we might want. Uh, that's button one style, but we can choose a different kind of button.